A lot of folks shopping for homes right now, and tonight we have a story that may just encourage you to take a closer look at those HOA covenants before you sign off on that mortgage. A News 5 viewer tells us he was threatened with legal action for incorrectly replacing some dead grass with rock. He shared his frustrations with our Andy Cohen, who joins us in studio tonight, and we are, how big of a change are we talking about here? Less than 20 square feet, Elizabeth, as you're about to see. The homeowner, Kevin Sabata, reached out to us because he feels like this wasn't about the grass, but rather making an example out of him to his neighbors. Kevin Sabata just couldn't keep the patch of grass at the end of his driveway alive. It just was not coming back. After getting fed up with the stream of fines coming from the Wildwood Ridge Homeowners Association, Kevin applied last April for a variance to replace the grass with this rock. Months went by without a decision and Kevin got tired of waiting. I took a command decision on myself and I said, I'm tired of this grass and I'm putting, I'm putting in the mulch and I'm putting in the rocks because previous to this, I was getting fined for the same issue. Well, the board noticed then they denied his request and slapped him with a fine. I only got one notice from them after the, after I pleaded my case at the HOA board hearing in the variance and then after that, I, pay, I paid the $25 fine, and then after that, nothing was ever said. That was until last month when this letter arrived from the HOA's attorney, demanding that he put back the grass or go to court. Their reason? They wanted to keep a consistent look in the neighborhood. I'm fed up with this HOA. Kevin took us around the neighborhood and showed us where several people have replaced similar size patches of grass with rock. In fact, one HOA board member completely zero escaped his yard, Meanwhile, the common areas that the HOA is responsible for look like this. Rather than wasting money on attorneys, Kevin gave up and put back the grass. It's still struggling to grow. Make me pay the fine and let it be done with it. Yeah. That, that's all, I mean, nobody cares. We did make multiple attempts to try and get someone from the HOA on camera for this story. Instead, we received this statement. It reads in part that they are pleased Kevin recognized his obligation to his fellow neighbors and installed the correct landscaping. And they add that it's unfortunate that it took 10 months, numerous hearings and correspondence and the possibility of a lawsuit for Kevin to finally install the correct landscaping. Always watching out for you, Colorado Springs. Andy Cohen, News 5.